Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video, and I'm finally over my man flu. It's over, I'm recovered, I've got my voice back, I can speak, I don't look like death. Let's check out some games. Now today I have a game that's in early access, it's called Beatron 2000. The devs, interestingly enough, I contacted them, just kind of on Twitter, so, so, so hey, you know, if you've got the game you want to kind of share it with me, please do, I'll have a little look at it. And they said they were big fans of mine. And that, you know, I was influencing them getting a go and looking to create their own app, their own game. So that's amazing. And I'm, I mean, I'm always in awe of developers that can make games, big and small. It's great to kind of see. And I'm in awe of them, really, for being able to do this sort of thing, because I wouldn't know where to start. And it's really interesting to see these things develop from sort of early stages right up until they get released. So see how they change, how they adapt. And it's great. And I've been speaking to Joe. It's Joe and Joe. And I've been speaking to one of the Joes quite a lot on Twitter. Just kind of going through the game. What, what I kind of thought about it. That sort of thing. And they've been really open to feedback. So get on their Discord. Get on their Twitter. Let them know what you think. Help shape it sort of thing. It is due out soonish. But let's uh, jump in. And I'll show you around Beatron 2000. Right, so here we are in Beatron 2000. Now, is this the Beat Saber game we've been looking for? Now, there are obviously going to be comparisons to Beat Saber. We're probably never going to get it on Oculus Go. I know, it's a shame. But is this a replacement? Is this good enough to replace it? Well, it's early stages, but it's looking pretty good. So let's have a little look. So you've got a nice little menu here. I love the 3D logo up there with a the little sort of uh, light running around it. But if we look around, yeah, pretty empty. But we've got a nice shiny floor. And we've got a menu and then a little kind of description of how to play it. So if we go to the first one, you can see basically you get the round bits. You've got to bash them with your disc. So instead of a lightsaber, you have a light disc, a bit like Tron, hence I guess Beat Tron 2000. It's very 80s themed in here. Uh, and then if you get the sort of targets, you've got to slice them. So slice them in the direction that they point. And then you get air targets as well. So if you pull the trigger, you actually shoot out your disc and you've got to try and hit the targets in the air. You've just got to point at them to aim. It locks on, it hits them, that sort of thing. So brilliant. So we get, what's we got? We've got nine tracks to start with and there's also the option to do custom tracks. So this Empires is actually technically the theme tune that goes towards my Remarkus videos. So we'll have a look at that in a bit. You've got a tutorial which kind of guides you through how to do all these bits. And then you've got all these different songs. Let's just run through a couple. I quite like this one. You get so the length of it here, the beats per minute, how many targets you've got to hit, difficulty. I'll be honest, I'm not very good at these sort of rhythm games, but even I can do expert for the most part. But let's go. So we've got our disc, it tracks our hand, and slice. Ooh, boom. It's very sharp. It feels like a bit more room in here than some of the other Beat Saber type games I've played before. Doesn't feel as crowded. There's lots of different sort of levels. I think it randomly generates one of these, kind of gives you one of these backgrounds to play with. It's very sort of Tron esque. And it plays really well. So you're slicing these blocks. Smash! The green ones always like to smash up, so you get the particle effects. But you can smash them down if you want to. But I would recommend smash them up. There you go. Oh, I missed one. You don't have to do big arm mo movements like I'm doing, but uh, I think, oh, I missed one. But you've got to get into it, you know. Do, 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 do. If you're playing it, you know, get into it. Get yourself a bit of a workout going. I mean, it's expert mode after all. I do feel that expert mode needs to be a little bit faster, maybe a little bit more beats, I'm not sure. Maybe a, maybe an option literally just to run the song faster. You know, 1.5 speed or something. Well, there you go, it's true target. Whoosh. My kids were playing this last night, they were addicted to it. I had to drag them off it. 
They were getting silvers. They thought that silvers were platinums. They're going, oh, I'm getting platinum. I'm destroying this game. It's too easy. But they were getting silvers. And Daddy went through and then got gold and all of them. Whee! And there we go. So can't stop, won't stop. Get a score, you complete, get a gold star, and you can either play again or go back to the main menu. They did. Uh, the devs have said they're going to introduce leaderboards, so there'll be leaderboards all around the world. So you have to compare yourself to everyone else. Uh, there's also uh, there's nine tracks in here now at the moment. They're going to include one more before release. Uh, but let's have a quick look at let's have a look at new colours. So this one's a bit more in this one, but you've got a few more air targets. Choo. Oh, get it, get it. And there you go, you got to point at the target to get it and hopefully get your disc back in time. So you've got to time it just right. Because if you don't get your disc back in time, you can't then hit the targets. I mean, there was only eight tracks yesterday, but they've already added the ninth track this morning. And you can see we've got a different background again, which is nice. Very sort of Tron-esque, very 80s. I think a few of the tracks are a bit a bit very sort of 80s um, and quite simple in a way because they don't have any um, vocals. I think the best songs are the ones that got the vocals in them. They a bit, feel a bit more sort of involved, a bit more action going on. Even this one's got somebody singing. Oh, oh, oh. But this is, as I say, this is on Expert. And I won't say it's hard. The latest one they've added is a little bit harder. Ah, oh, I missed one. Slice, 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 slice. Down, down, down. But uh, it'd be interesting to see, because uh, as I say, they do have their own custom track maker. So you can upload your own stuff. So you, if you don't like the tracks that are in there, you can just add your own. You can add the Beat Saber ones in if you really wanted to. Fancy some m, &M? Do it. Fancy some S Club 7? Why not? Boy George? Elton John? Michael Jackson? The world, the music beats Tron world is your rooster. And I'm terrible at rhythm games and I'm able to do this. Oh, can we get it before the... Come, 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 come back, come back, come back. There you go. Ah, oh, I missed one. So you can do all these sort of things in your custom track to kind of decide how you want it. You'll see what I've done in my track. Oh, I don't know what I've got on there. Let's, uh, let's get a bit of workout going on this one. I'm sat down. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to hit them the wrong way, I think. Just go with the motion. Shoot the target, just aim at it, and it goes for it. Come on, back, 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 back. Let's go. Oh, is that it? Am I done? It almost feels at the end that you should be able to like shoot your your disc out for some sort of bonus round. Bonus round. Like if you score a certain amount, maybe you get like a bonus round, some bonus targets to to hit or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe like a like a bowling type thing. You can like just fling it out with one shot. To like hit some targets to knock them off. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but it's kind of cool. Uh, so there you go, let's go back to the main menu. And I'll quickly show you the custom track I've done. So if we go down to Empires, as you'll hear, this is the intro music to my videos. So it's by uh, Travis Loafman, was it? But you can see what I've done here. So I've probably gone a little bit too crazy because I've done targets and targets and targets 
and then bah, 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 bah. Ah, I missed it in time. My uh, beats per minute are a bit slow on this one. I think I've messed that up. I don't think you can do that. Twiddle and hit at the same time. Oh! Oh! Oh no, no, no! Yeah, see look. I've gone crazy with the, the amount of things that are on here. You can fail. You can see there's that bar at the back. That's not too bad. Oh, it is bad. It's bad. It's not working. I'm not getting any targets here. I think this is the only track I haven't mastered yet. This is my own one that I've messed up. Wow! <laughs> and shoot. So, Silver, I've got a master me thing. You can go in, you can tweak it. I think that's a video for another day. So once the game's released, maybe I'll do a, a video that kind of goes through how to do it. Basically, you kind of download a, a program onto your PC, uh, you create a few files, the MP3, name them certain things, put them all in one folder, and then you can just kind of edit it and upload them straight to the headset. So it does work really well, and it is really clever. But I think that's a, that's a video for another time. But I will leave links to all that sort of stuff down below. So if you want to go check that out, want to kind of learn how to create tracks, how to maybe get an early copy, contact the developers and that sort of thing, uh, join their Discord, you know, get involved. You know, I'll leave all that details below. So there we go, Beach One 2000. Is it a Beat Saber game that we've been looking for? I think it's pretty close. And given that you can upload your own tracks, create your own stuff, and it could be quite good. And I think there could be quite a good community around it. They're looking to release it mid-November, so they're going to submit it probably the end of next week, and it then takes a couple of weeks to get onto the store. They're looking for a price around, at the moment, about $10 or about $8. Quid. Uh, they're not 100% set on price just yet. They're sort of mulling over and thinking about it, so you know, check it out when it comes out. I'll do my latest releases video on it, and as I say, I'll probably do a custom track video on it once it comes out as well, so you can learn how to do custom tracks. One thing they did say is if they get enough interest in the Go version, they'll port it to PS4 VR and Rift and Vive, and even the Quest when it comes out. I think it's worth looking at, it is a fun game. They've got a little bit of work to do, they haven't put the leaderboards in there yet, there's a bit more work to do around that. They've got one more track to add before they release, but it's looking pretty good. It plays pretty well. Do leave your comments down below about what you think about Beat One 2000. Is it the game you've been looking for? Is it something you've been picking up? You know, is there something you want to see? Any tweaks, changes? You know, what sort of features would you like to see? Because they're still open to feedback. So now's the perfect time to leave it down below. Join their Discord or join my Discord at discord.remarcus.com and we can have a little chat about it there. If there are any other indie devs out there that you've got an app in development you want me to have a quick look at, put a video out on, do let me know because I am really keen to kind of support and help and look at these sort of things. Because I think it's great that you guys are so much so open to feedback that you know we should really sort of take advantage of that because you know it's in our interest to provide that feedback to you guys to be able to make be even better experiences. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it if you didn't like it, that's fine. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.